What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're taking the throttle body, hooking it up to the 350Z pedal, and we're gonna be doing that with a low car throttle cable. Uh, there will be a little bit of modification to the pedal itself as it's originally drive by wire and we're going drive by cable. Um, also another update over the weekend, it was my birthday and my wonderful dad gifted me this Milwaukee uh, 3 8 ratchet, you know? I think it's pretty cool and uh, you all probably have seen I'm a big DeWalt guy, but you know, if it works, it works and screw brand affiliation, it doesn't matter too much. So that's cool. And another thing is, is I'm trying out a new uh, lens. It's the Canon uh, 10 by 22 or something like that lens. So it's got a wider angle than the normal video. So we'll see how that comes out. Uh, stay tuned. All right, I think I'm digging this lens. Definitely captures the engine bay pretty well. Um, my mom also hooked me up for my birthday with a new tripod, and I will admit it's a huge upgrade from the one that I had. I had a cheap Amazon tripod. Um, this, I believe it's pronounced Manfrotto. Could be wrong, but this thing is awesome. Way more stable. Anyways, getting into the car business. Um, you can th see we have the throttle body right here which is drive by wire no drive by cable um, and what I've seen guys do is just take the cable I have all the mounting um, hardware and just basically run it like through this cutout or I've seen guys make a cutout and basically it enters uh, the cabin of the car under that brake booster so um, I'm gonna get my head under there I'm also gonna pull the pedal out so we can make our modifications out of the car and we'll start there and see where it takes us all right so here we have our pedal assembly and you can see the two studs that hold it um, they have 10 millimeter nuts I already got them off uh, theoretically you should be able to pull that down and then there's some wiring for the Nissan throttle body I don't know if I can get this one handed See if I can set up my tripod for the GoPro. Can you see anything? Eh, I don't know if you can see anything. But, uh, tight squeeze down here. I'm gonna try to get this off. Uh, gonna pop that off. All right, here you can see we have our pedal assembly out. This is basically the sensor like the throttle position sensor I guess um, and you can see how this lever in here when you actuate it is what turns this so what we'll do is we'll start off by taking this um, sensor out and then probably unscrewing these to take this housing out and then see what we're left with What we're going to do is figure out a way to run the throttle cable through the back plate here and connect to this arm. And basically, when that arm goes and actuates, it will pull the throttle cable, which will tug on our throttle body over here. All right, so here's the game plan. What's going to happen is I'm going to cut out a square big enough for this to go into the back here. So I'm gonna cut out that square basically so my throttle cable can go into that hole. And then from there, I'll show you the next step. so this is the rough cut of what we got going on now what I think will happen is take the end of the throttle cable and theoretically that should fit through there now which it does and what we want to do is 
skinny this up I guess with a grinder or not sure yet so that it can slide over top and this will connect like that all right so you can see I narrowed down the arm and put a notch in it and now I think we can feed um, the throttle cable oh that's hot huh. through the back here like so and slip that over top like that okay well that just made it insanely easier should have did that from the beginning I guess that's all right so this slip over top like that put our pin in all right we're in all right back inside the car I'm gonna mock this back up and see where we should make our hole All right, so you can see we got uh, this sort of mocked up here. It'll end up, it's all adjustable, but this will sandwich in there, tighten down, everything needs to be tightened down. And this will uh, wrap around and connect to the throttle body. But what we need to do is um, this low car uh, cable isn't the correct end on it. And so I bought um, one of these, I don't actually know what they're called, but they basically slide into the throttle body, like down here, and then you put your wire through it, and uh, it's just a different way to connect to your throttle body. So I'm going to find an Allen wrench small enough to take this out. So the cable is supposed to go into that hole, but it's definitely, that hole is definitely too small. So what I'm going to do, find a drill bit that matches this hole, and then I will put this in the vise, or in the drill press, and I'll drill that out. So you can see I enlarged the hole, and it was really easy, so barely had to grow at all. Here's a quick update on how I finished this out. So, got the cable in, you can see it's routed kind of goofy, but... It comes over, and I don't know if you can see it. Down in there, it penetrates the firewall perfectly to where the arm that we modified on the pedal is, and makes the connection to the pedal. So, um, it works pretty well. It makes a full throw, and it you know it feels really good. I think heel towing will be pretty easy. So. I'm excited to get it on the road and finally drive it. Alright, that's a wrap on today's video. We got the uh, throttle cable in, modified the pedal, got it connected to the throttle body, and it uh, works really well. So, in the next video, I think we'll get the tires back on get the car off the jack stands and on the ground and get it off to the exhaust shop because I don't think I'm gonna tackle the exhaust on my own still up for debate maybe as always if you like the video leave it a big thumbs up and if you like what we're doing you're excited for the build like I am you wanna see it raced on a racetrack maybe hit the subscribe button thanks <laughs>